A very wonderful aloha with deep blessings. I'm Reverend Cindy Paulus. And today I wanted to talk about this inner compass, this GPS system of love in our heart of hearts that is put there within us before we were even born, that we can always be still and let it guide us like a lighthouse, like a beacon. Let it guide us to that part of us that is our soul that knows that love of who we are. The path of love isn't always easy, but that is part of the intricacy of this path because when we see that we must use love in all circumstances, that we must extend love and we must receive love and we must be healed by love, then it's that love that is truly working through us. And sometimes it's more than we individually, and definitely more than our ego could be creating. So what do we turn to? We turn to God's love. We turn to that great unconditional love. I wrote a poem called The Path of Love, and I wrote, The path of love is not always easy, but have hope and do not despair. For with love your heart may be torn open, but when your heart is open, there is room for the love of God to be there. This love will lift you up when you are broken and when you are down on your knees. You might just ask for God's help and find the gift of the power of love inside you and me. And you can forgive the hurt that has come to you. You can forgive for the mistakes you have made and forgive all the things you had to do and you can put aside your pride inside. For you are never forsaken and you are always open and able to ask for help, you will not ever be denied, my friend. For there is a greater love that you can find to teach you, to let you believe in that love inside that is so true. And if you are able to ask for help, you can be healed. And it is this love that can overcome the hurt inside of you. For the greater power is in the love there. And it is a blessing that will always there be able to receive. For you are the living love of God and that love can set you free. And I'm sure you probably have experienced this. This is part of the whole life journey. This is part of learning time and time again to return to that inner love that can heal you, that can lift you up, that can let that light of God be there inside of you. I go on to write here, so celebrate a day or two of love by forgiving any hurt inside your heart and believe once again that you can love and know that it is worthwhile so you can dedicate a day to make it a brand new start and maybe get yourself a special gift or a card to recognize that love that you are 
there is there in your heart of heart a way to open up that wonderful place, that point of love where you can share that love and begin to start to heal. There is that flame that burns there in your soul that is lit by that love and you can let that love be in control. And take a moment to thank those who you've loved and realize that love can overcome that fear. And you then are able to more love yourself and that love is the reason that you are here. And that is the reason, I mean, we oftentimes get so busy and fill our lives up with so much that we forget our real reason for being here. Has that ever happened to you? And it's then that you need to go inside and connect to that wonderful love of all loves. Let's just take some wonderful healing moments to do that, to put aside everything else and to let go of any distractions and to just be love. Just return to the love that you are. Just take a few wonderful, deep, clearing breaths, breathing in and allowing love to fill your entire mind, body, and heart. And, ah, and as you breathe out, just release anything that has been causing you pain or suffering, breathing in love and breathing out that love through all of your heart, your mind, your body. Allow that love to infuse you with the healing energy of forgiveness. Breathing in forgiveness and allowing that forgiveness to pour over all of your energy field. And now let's extend a beautiful light of love way, way, way up above us and down through us and through our heart and down our whole body and down our legs and our knees and our thighs and our calves and our feet. Breathing in more calm and love and letting it extend to your arms and your shoulders and your neck and your head, breathing in more love and allowing yourself to start to see and feel this love permeating all of who you are right here and now. And now invite that Christ light love to come into your very consciousness of being. This is the highest unconditional love brought to you through the Christ mind consciousness that aligns with the unconditional love of God within. And just feel each breath expanding, expanding your awareness of that light and that love going deeper and deeper and deeper into that beautiful heart of your heart's Letting this love purify and clear away any old hurts and pains within your heart. And as you breathe in, see that light coming within you from that one unconditional source where you can indeed be drawn like a compass always to that part of you that is connected in your DNA to that wonderful energy of God's light and love. Breathe it in. Let it expand. And let's just dwell in this garden of the beautiful love of God right there within you. Allowing yourself to be here and to feel it, to accept it, to allow it, to become it. And allow that love to guide you to that part of your soul where you have implanted in your soul that light of all love. That soul's love is there like that compass to guide you always through your life. Take some time to breathe in that 
love and be aligned with the breath of the master coming through you, the heartbeat of the one all there, always beating within you, aligning with that heartbeat of God's love. Breathing it in and just allowing it to be. Breathing it out, allowing it to expand through all the cells of your very being within you, all of your body, all of your mind, all of the energy of your aura, the energy within your soul, radiating forth in this light of love, this wonderful love that has come to heal you. Allow that love to bring you the rebirth of the more love that you are, more of the truth of who you are, for you are made from love. You are a child of love. You are loved. Let yourself be loved right now. Just allow each breath to bring you more love, more healing, more good feelings. Breathing it in, breathing it out, breathing it in, and just being deeply rooted in this wonderful place of love. Let's just dwell here in this wonderful light of love. Feel it, how beautiful it feels, how magnificent this energy is that is a gift given to you for free. And just thank God for this beautiful time to let yourself return to that love that you are and know that it's always waiting there for you, my beloved. It's always there to enfold you in angels' wings of light and love. It's always there to protect you. It's always there to heal you. Allow yourself to believe that. And now slowly come out of meditation and feel that energy going through all of your body and your mind and energy radiating and renewing and restoring you with love. And now just slowly come back and be aware of your body, your mind, and feel re-energized. And take a moment to say, thank you, God. And so it is. I love you, I send you my love always.